Let's hope this films. Hi everyone, so last week I talked about how I was going to use some of my uh, plan air reference as well as pictures to do a drawing at home and it's still a bit of a study. I might do this in painting at some point. Um, this is what I wanted to do. This is a reference I did when I went on plein air. And I remember saying I wanted to add some greens to this. Um, so this is what you will see today. I don't know if it's centered. So following this, we're going to have a time lapse of me drawing this. And what materials did I end up using? Let me... Okay, so the paper I used, first of all, is the Fabriano Bristol Vellum. 1264. I really like this uh, paper for charcoal, graphite. Uh, when I went to use the pastel for the sky, I used my Blue Eris Pastel, the Nomad set, and it's the lightest blue. Aww. I used my charcoals and pastel pencils. Uh, that I use when I went plein air painting. So my General's Hard, my General's Extra Soft, my Criticolor in Sepia. So this is more like a pastel. My Criticolor in Sanguine. And then I use three more like regular pastel pencils. These two by Faber Castell, and this one that is a very yellowish green um closer to chartreuse than the other ones because i don't have the equivalent in fabric castell this is a jaconda by koinur soft pastel they're very inexpensive they're very soft they're very lovely they're not quite as thick as the fabric castell but i feel together with the fabric castell i have a really good uh range of pastel so yeah, that's it. Um, that wasn't... <laughs> so that wasn't all of it. Um, I use Vine Charcoal to do the initial sketch and put in the landmarks. The Vine Charcoal I use is by Windsor & Newton. I use, of course, uh, erasers. I will put everything I use in the comment section. Uh, the other two things I use is my iPad for the photo reference and I often also uh, create a monochrome black and white version of the picture so I can have a sense of the values. I struggle with values and this helps me and oftentimes I take a picture of the drawing or painting I'm doing and then turn it black and white to identify where the problem areas are with value. And I think that's a really easy, quick trick with if you struggle with values. The other thing I refer to, and you can see it possibly at the very, very corner edge, is I have my reference drawing or painting that I've done en plein air because it will have different details that are more visible or not depending on how what I focused on when I was in person. Um, you'll see also that I start putting in my color midway because when you work with charcoal and graphite, uh, first of all, if you're messy like me, you, it, it can get a little messy. Um, and, uh, you want to put your color in when the paper is still very white. So it is at its most vibrant. If you don't mind your colors being dirtied, which, you know, afterwards you'll see it mixes in with uh, the, the, the charcoal, then that's perfect because it does create different shades.
you will note as I draw and lay down pigment that I do not hold my pencil and my charcoal most of the time, especially at the beginning, like I usually would hold a pencil when I write. But let me demonstrate. I explained it best last time. You can see right now that I feel more comfortable with where the tree branches are going and just being more loose. I'm just, instead of doing it this way, I'm taking my pencil this way and it's just a lot more fluid and I'm liking it a lot. That's because this type of hold will let me be more gestural in my in the way I draw and put down color. Basically, instead of using my wrist, I am using my whole arm all the way <laughs> to my shoulder to be able to move the tool around. And this is a good way of loosening up because ultimately at the very beginning, you don't want to be super tight. And one way of doing this is how you hold your tools. I don't know if you can tell, but I struggle the most with painting the rocks. It's just, I don't know what it is about rocks. They're not my thing. I have trouble with value. So rocks are usually all about value and texture. And they have all these nook and crannies. <laughs> And I just need to practice a lot more. And I never put them in the right place. And they're never the right size. <laughs> and it happens. And I just need practice. Practice, practice, practice. I'll get better with time. small interlude I am using the Tenwin long point sharpener crank sharpener I ordered the Afmat and the company sent me this instead and uh, when I complained they told me um, the manufacturer because they both come from the same manufacturer may have sent the wrong one so just so you know Tenwin Afmat doesn't matter At this point, you can see I fluctuate using between the loose mode and tense mode. Basically, if I am putting in the details or trying to accentuate an existing branch, I need to be a little more careful. So I use it the same way when I'm more tense and looser when, for example, I want to extend the branch to the sky or I'm just feeling my way through it, uh, then I'll use the loose mode hold. <laughs> As I draw this tree, I am completely and utterly in loose mode. Um, the other thing you should notice is that from the picture, this is barely visible. Whereas when I did this in person, that tree was a focal point, which is why it's very important to me, um, even working from home, that I have some plein air reference because it changes a lot uh, what you notice in person versus what you notice from um, a picture. This is going very fast, so you may not have noticed that uh, the scribbles for the leaves got bigger in the forefront, whereas they were fairly small in the background, just to give a sense of distance.
sometimes you need a second pair of eyes and thankfully I live in the same building as some other members of my family so I called my niece over and said I need your eyes come over she came over and she said I asked what is missing here and she said well technically if I didn't see the picture I wouldn't necessarily know that's water um, so she said maybe add some blue I'm gonna add some blue wasn't part of the plan but you know what things happen so I have the nomad set I love my nomad set I have the land and sea sampler the nomad set and I do believe I have a very very light blue that might work I mean look at this Using the light blue pastel ended up uh, playing two roles. It really did emphasize that this was water and sky. But mostly, what I really liked was that it made everything in the water area very unfocused. Um, because it went on top of the charcoal, it was a lot less crisp and it really did look more like a reflection. One thing I didn't do when I went um, outside to draw this from life was tackle the background. So I didn't resolve it, much less tackle it. So right now, since I did decide I wanted to have more of a finished full sketch, I need to tackle it. And one of the ways of doing it was by um, using my electric eraser and get back some of the whites and some of the details and at this point uh, I am just not even really representing what was there so much as the memory of it. I slowed everything down because one of the things that uh, people don't realize sometimes is that Things are sped up, not by two, not by three, not by four, not by five, sometimes by 12 to 24 times the speed. I think this one took pretty much between two and a half to three and a half hours. So around three hours to do this one. One thing I did when I went was I noticed all these little buds or cherry-like fruits that were left over on the very tip of the branches. And um, I wasn't going to go into detail and put all of them in, but I did want to reference them. Sometimes you think to yourself, yep, I'm done. And then you realize that in person it looks good, but if you're gonna put this online, unfortunately, that blue-gray is way too gray and not blue enough, and it's not gonna show. So you bring out your blue and try to add it. gonna add it on edges and hopefully that'll be blue enough that'll it'll help convey this is frozen water 
rather than whatever it might look like. And I'm just gonna put that on the edges instead of instead of all over. I think that helps and maybe a little bit here in the back but I'm not gonna put it in the sky because the sky is very light and I don't want to darken it That's that. No idea how this is gonna film. Maybe it's not filming. Maybe I should check. Oh, it is. Um, I'll see you guys next time.